the tumor-treating drug, marijuana, has finally made ITSYOFF the government's blacklist. For years the federal government has been denying the useful properties of marijuana, until now. Recent studies have proven that marijuana does contain properties that can reduce tumor sizes. These studies were first conducted on rodents. The chemicals that were induced shrunk the tumor size within the rodents. When humans were examined they found that marijuana had significant beneficial properties that reduced tumor size and cancer development in leukemia patients. This is great news for many people, although a lot of people have believed this for years. As of now the government still recognize marijuana as an addictive drug with no medical purpose. However, this has been proven to be wrong over the years. The gateway drug to a brighter future. With this newfound respect for this magical drug the federal government has opened up to the fact that this drug may prove beneficial in the long term. This does not come as a surprise for many people. But to some people's surprise marijuana has had positive effects on HIV patients. This is wonderful news for a lot of people. This just goes to show you that this drug may be categorized completely wrong. With the wave of medical marijuana being introduced into some state economies the federal government is faced with a difficult decision. Is the drug actually beneficial, rather than being a burden on society? Studies have shown the beneficial purpose as marijuana serves. Now it's time for the government to accept the fact that this drug can and will help millions of people. The first step is admitting the benefits of marijuana, which they have already done. The next step would be to implement this drug into the medical system as a form of effective treatment. The next few years will serve as a test for the government. Will they be able to accept marijuana as a recognized treatment? Or will they continue to ignore the beneficial properties it contains?